This has been work that, that's been going on um, for several years prior to the actual start of the funding period, in which Eric uh, uh, works with Design for Industry students with support from my department, which is kind of an essentially based team that uh, facilitate the use of technology to, to in learning, student learning experiences at the university. Uh, Eric was trying to get students in various universities across the globe, from Australia, South Korea, then uh, Holland, uh, UK, North America, to work together on, on industry-based projects with some quite prestigious partners, Intel, Motorola, uh, companies like that. Um, and he was working, but it really wasn't working very well. Um, we, we were having to host a lot of the, the, the collaborative activity outside of the university's infrastructure because there was just kind of this, this just this immediate re uh, uh, um, resistance to trying to do any of this work within the industry infrastructure, sorry, the university's infrastructure, and we were wanting to use the, the, the project to see what could we do using open source software, what could we do within the university's infrastructure to get beyond the kind of our IT services people's um, reluctance for this collaboration, and also things like license agreements around the VLE, and the restrictions that that would impose on the collaboration. Um, so starting at the start of the project, um, one of the changes, we, we kind of, the whole thing, pick our username change, Eric's informing how it works. We are very much working closely with Eric and very much in support. But our IT services people were very, very, very resistant. Um, and um, we had to do a lot of work with them to, to, to bring them around to change. We, we see certain things. We did have a Skype facility within the university, but if the students wanted to use it, they couldn't then use any of the programs at the same time. So they couldn't actually look at the, 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 the projects work that they were doing and discuss it live. You know? So we got them to change that and bring our Skype completely into the university network. Um, we got them to agree to take the server that we had been using that was externally hosted and brought it <coughs> into the university network. So there were some key, very significant changes that our IT people made. Um, at the time, um, at this point, I suppose the negative was, was, was or disappointment was attitudes of colleagues. In terms of our IT, our director of IT services, he, his change became positive. But Eric still has problems with his colleagues within the department. There are colleagues who really think that students shouldn't be collaborating with students in other universities. Uh, yeah, right. uh, and what we were trying to do in terms of technology was find ways for students to file share, something we haven't really cracked very well. We wanted some kind of wiki type collaboration space, uh, and we wanted these kind of live communication tools. Um, what we, did, we did, what we set out to do as part of the, the kind of project plan was to test the software for all wikis, and we, we took a bit of software called Plume, um, and we used that. And we did an evaluation at the end of uh, 2009, the end of, of, of a semester to learn a project with Intel. Found a number of problems with that. There were technical problems. Uh, the students, some students were actually migrating from Plume and collaborating using other other uh, uh, facilities. Um, and we've, we've also discovered that students, students lacked um, digital skills in what they were doing, which, which we'll come back to. Um, so a big plus is from that, we then, for this semester, are running WordPress, um, which seems to be working much better and much more fit for purpose from a technical and a user perspective. So they're, they're big pluses for us. Also, we've now seen IT services have opened up. We have Office Communicator. We've had that in the university for 18 months. They've now opened that up to external users. So the students can now um, do, do live uh, communication both with Skype uh, and with, 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 with an online text facility as well. Um, so we've seen big pluses. The changes in the way that our IT people are, are now very much more open to meeting the kind of the, the needs of academics to do some very interesting stuff. Um, so in terms of what a few people have already mentioned, how do you sustain your project? Um, we're developing new partnerships within the university. There are other people now starting to, to think, ah, this is interesting, this may be very useful for us. Uh, and we're also looking, we put, submitted a recent bid about looking at the digital literacy skills of our students and, and what work can we now do to enhance that so that they make much more effective use particularly of, word, of, of WordPress. In terms of, uh, as key ne negative, 
attitudes of colleagues that still are still finding resistance within the department. Um, the big plus, and this is this is for me personally, is, is how I've developed a much better relationship with our central IT services people. Um, there's a lot more trust there, and it's enabling me to be able to influence not just in terms of this project, but a lot more about the university is going to use technology in students' learning experiences. So it makes my job easier. So.